Hello everybody. Today we're looking at the eledlights.com LED high bay light. This is a 120 watt unit with a 5000K color temperature. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. Here's the unit out of the box. We can see it's UL rated and DLC rated with even a very nice uh, UL label. And it also comes with a, an eye hook which would fit in the top. So let's see how this thing comes together. The eye hook screws onto the top easily. And here we see the lamp unit over to the top left. And then it's available with two different reflectors, either a 45 degree reflector to the bottom left, or to the right, we have the 120 degree reflector. And we can see the, the lamp came with the four screws. And it also needs a Phillips head screwdriver and we can attach the reflectors. Well, here we are. This is what 13,000 lumens looks like. Let's get a little closer here. If you notice, we got the 45 degree shroud on there. So it, it really is uh, focused uh, pretty well down. I, I think the lamp's up about eight feet. It looks like maybe uh, 12 feet, uh, 15 foot diameter. But uh, you can see it's uh, certainly much, much brighter directly underneath the light. So it really is focused down with a, a, a bit of side splash, but uh, well, there you go. And this is actually the, the least powerful one they make, but it is the high efficiency silver line. So you're getting a lot more light per watt than you would with a non-DLC certified low efficiency bulb. But uh, it comes on and this is what it does. A nice high quality looking light. 5,000 degrees ha uh, is very nice. No complaints, and, uh, well, I don't know what else to say about it. Plug it in, it does its job. Really. Anyway, uh, you don't want to be looking up there, it's really bright. Let's try the other shroud. Okay, with the 120 degree shroud, I have to stand back quite a bit further. You can see there's a lot more light spillage, but uh, I don't think it's any brighter in the non-masked off areas, it would seem to me that in most instances you'd want the 120 degree to get the maximum amount of light. So uh, still very, very bright underneath here. Go up here and take a look at it. Oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even look up there with my eyes, but uh, the cameras with auto light correcting uh, probably don't do much for you anyway. But it's a, a very attractive shroud, a, a very attractive unit. And uh, Quite a bit of light and you know what can I say about it you plug it in and it works you know that's just what it's supposed to do and it should work for who knows the next 20 years or so with no uh, problems no repercussions one thing I did notice is they have a, a tremendous heat sink on here and this thing is just you know playing cold it doesn't even it's not even getting hot but of course I've only had it on for a few minutes but uh, there's really no temperature come up there but oh man do not look at that light with your eyes. Boy, uh, it is really bright. I, I'm sure you'd want to have this thing mounted up at least 20 feet up to, to make uh, make use of, this, of something quite this bright. And the funny thing is, is they have two models that are both more powerful than this. So it's one heck of a, a lot of light, a very nice high quality light, very evenly distributed. Although it is centered down, to where as you go off, it, it, it gets lower and lower and lower as you go off uh, getting away from it. It looks like you can maybe get to up to a maximum of 20 feet with 10 feet up. So who knows, uh, I didn't do the trigonometry on it, but it sounds like it could be 120 degrees. Well, here we are, and this is without the shroud. So uh, this is almost 180 degree uh, light coming off and it's not that strong but it still does present light. And uh, I don't know if you'd really want to operate it like this. I guess uh, as far as the safety as the bulb goes, I guess you don't have to worry about it. You're not going to drop it. To, but uh, you know, there, there would be no reason why you couldn't operate it without a shroud at all. Uh, you can, uh, you know, it has side light, but I mean, I can look at it without it hurting my eyes. So I get closer. In fact, I can still look at it without hurting my eyes. 
Yeah, this is about as close as I want to get. Because I can really start to see it on my eyes as far as looking up there. But uh, who knows, in a factory with this thing being way the heck up there, you could maybe even get by without a shroud at all. And then you'd have a uh, maximum uh, light to the side. So I don't know. Like I say, uh, it's a beautiful light. You plug it in, it comes on. You unplug it, it goes off. Uh, what more do you want a light to do?